Hi there, welcome to this lesson. Now we are going to see what are the resources that we need to start building our apps. The list is very short. Basically, we need two resources. That's having a computer with a browser and internet access. Since the Power Apps interface works on the browser, you just need to log into your account and access the interface. And the second one, that sometimes is the most difficult, is a corporate email account with an office license that has Power Apps on it. Since Power Apps is a tool meant for business, it means we need a corporate account that's an account used on companies. It also works for school accounts, but basically here it means you need to have this account with access to Power Apps. It's not something that you just access a website, register and start using, because this is meant for companies. Given that it doesn't work with Gmail or Hotmail accounts, for example, and must be an email account that has a domain. By domain, I mean that last part after our, the at on our email. So let's say rudimar at rudimar.com, company.com, that's the domain. So what are the options that I have to start building with Power Apps? First, you already work for a company and have an account. And this account has office license. And since you have access to the Microsoft tools, you have access to Power Apps. I think that's the main reason why you're here. And the option number two is to create a Microsoft trial account or subscribe to a plan. Basically, if we go to the Microsoft website, we can find several plans in here. The cheapest one is Microsoft 365 Business Basic. You can try for one month. So you won't pay anything for one month. You need to register here, put your details and get the email account with the tools we need. After that, you can keep paying or find another way to find another account. I won't show this process. You can search on the internet, but basically fill in a form. On this course, I'm assuming that you already have an account set up. As I can see here, we also have plans without access to Microsoft Teams. That's the communication app for companies, and it's cheaper than the original price. But for the session on Power Automate, we may use it to send notifications on Teams. If you don't have it, then you won't be able to do that part. Given that, if you don't find your access to Power Apps, unfortunately, you won't be able to do this course. I'm considering you have access to Power Apps already. That's why you're doing the course. If you don't, you can try getting an account, but that's something that I cannot help because it's out of the scope of the course. And in case you cannot get it and you cannot do the course, remember that you can request a refund up to 30 days after purchasing the course. And in the future, when you get an account, you can try again. Considering you already have an account, let's see how we can access the Power Apps interface. Let's say that you're on your browser and you want to check access for Power Apps. The first way that we can do that is just going to a new tab and typing make.powerapps.com. This will take us to the Power Apps interface. As you can see here, we are in the Power Apps interface and here we have all the things that we need to start building our app. And we are going to see in the next lesson. The second way to find this interface is in any of your office apps. In my case right now, I'm on my email account. We have these nine dots here in the top left corner. If we click on it, we can see the Microsoft apps. Maybe Power Apps is not in here. In my case, it already is. But if I click on more apps, then I'm going to go to the Office page. And here I can click on All Apps. And then I can find all the apps that my current license gives me access. And as you can see here, here is Power Apps. Once I click, then we go to the Power Apps interface. It may happen that some other information appears here, or this screen is slightly different because they are always changing, but that is just a detail. Now that we have access to Power Apps, let's get started. See you in the next lesson.